Okay, here's the last step. Um, since I didn't have any of those, this is looking really weird here, but since I didn't have any of those um, dome, plastic dome covers to put over this, they usually deteriorate much faster than the actual tray does. So you've got the tray, but you don't have the dome for your seeds. So I just used some ordinary Saran Glad Wrap, actually, is what I used. Um, and put it over the top of this. And then I'm gonna set it up here. I've got a shelf where I put all of my things that are sprouting. I'm waiting for them to sprout up here on this uh, shelf, which has the lights and plants growing underneath. Um, and then I cover them with newspaper to keep them dark and check them every day to see when they start sprouting. And then I'll move them down under the lights here, or if it's warm enough, outside. And uh, that's the, the whole process there of getting your seeds started at a very low cost. Um, and there are lots of seed exchanges around that you can take advantage of to even get a better, um, cheaper uh, way so you don't have to actually go out and buy seed. And um, there's an organization called wintersown.org that will uh, send you some seeds and you report back to them on how they did for you. Um, and all you have to do is pay for postage. So there's lots of very economical ways to get your um, seeds, seedlings started from seed. And up here, I was just going to say, but I was in the middle of something else. I have some peppers here, some heirloom uh, Yolo Wonder sweet bell peppers, and a bunch of other kinds of peppers in this one. And we're, we're getting some uh, lavender plants started here. Uh, we've got one so far that sprouted up here. One little lavender plant. And hopefully we'll get some more. But uh, anyway, this is, this is how we do it at Cypress Lake Ranch. Visit us on our website, cypresslakeranch.com, and have a good day.